Hey everybody, this is Kodok here, and we're gonna play a little more Light Seekers. I know, uh, last time I played this game it wasn't terribly impressive, but today we're gonna be doing things a little differently. First of all, we're going to actually be using some, uh, some proper cards. We're gonna be using some, uh, some integration, and we're gonna have the figure character here. So, you're probably gonna hear Korra chiming in from, uh, time to time. So, uh, let's get down to it. I'm gonna be introducing a few new concepts today, things that, uh, have a big impact on the game as you play it. In particular, I'm going to introduce combo chaining, as well as a new area. So we are going to be getting into an area in the second part of Ashwood. I uh, actually did film the first time I used the toy. Okay, I actually did film the first time I uh, I uh, went into the, uh, used the toy, but uh, it didn't really go so well. It was a bit of a mess, but today we are going to be exploring the Astral Rift. Now, it use, it's, it's, it's a Kree ball infested area, and it's full of Astral Kree ball, and I actually have some equipment on that lowers the damage I take from Astral, so it will be interesting to see how that works. Now, my default level has since gone up to 11. Now, this is apparently a new tier in the sorts of loot and difficulty that you get in the dungeons. Now, the Kree ball dungeon, the first time I tried it, the Astral Rift, it was not very difficult, but uh, we are going to uh, jump right in, so here we go. Okay, so uh, maybe I should have talked during the loading screen a little bit. Um, I'll show off a couple of things here. Uh, like, here's what happens when you... Uh, what happens is uh, Korra's default item... She has a default item called the, the Surge Shell, but when you actually attach an item to her, like I'm going to add the Aqua Dark Crab, the machine will actually detect it. Yeah, now we have the Aqua Dark Crab level 12. I've been trying to level it up. It's been a bit of a trick to do that. And uh, let's see, I'm going to scan my card for the dungeon... which is going to be Kree Ball Infiltrator. Now, Kree Ball Infiltrator has the effect of, um, it increases damage against Kree Ball by 12% as soon as it, uh, recognize yes, okay. And since its dungeon is nothing but Kree Ball, that's gonna be very good. Now, I've heard some people complain that the card buffs aren't very good, but an additional eighth of damage is actually really nice, especially when you get to higher levels. I mean, ask somebody who was like a hardcore, uh, a hardcore WoW player if if they if you could offer them something that would kill a raid boss 12% faster, they'd be like, where do I sign up? Okay, so now that we have a card effect, you can see the swirling card effect. We're gonna give it a try. Oh, I need to change back to heavy belly. I have Snippy out because I'm trying to level him up because. Uh, the pets actually uh, they can't go beyond your level and they kind of store up a lot of uh, a lot of exp needed for the next level and so they basically level up when you level up so we're going to switch back to heavy belly okay so i'm already seeing a a message for something called tunnel worker so here we go let's see if we can uh, kite them in a little bit the moon masher huh so i'm going to focus on building up my combo i already have it at times 5 times 6 these guys seem to be taking a lot, but these guys are uh, not exactly the best representation of how difficult this dungeon is. Because this dungeon is actually not terribly difficult at all. I didn't, I, I didn't really have any, any trouble with it. So I'm just gonna take up this moon masher, and then the rest of the, uh, the rest of the critters around here should go down fairly easily. Because you can see this is one of the larger guys here. So I'm busy building up my uh, combo gauge. Let's stun him. A little bit of that. Oh, he's he's uh, he's summoning minions, huh? Oh, I still have uh, I still have, oh I took down the moon masher. Now let's take out slime tamer. So he's the one who's been summoning these annoying little guys, the sun feeder, huh? Okay, I think sun feeder is actually a card in the game. There's actually a card for him. Gotta get those vials. Gotta build that combo. Cause here's the thing with the uh, with combos like this. Oh, and there's my weapon attack. I finally can uh, show that off. The weapon attack, it's basically a free attack that doesn't cost you any uh, any mana to use. It appears every once in a while, so I've got my combo up to 13. That's actually very important to get your combo as high as possible. Because what it does is it will actually allow you to uh, use an attack multiple times. Now, I want to get out of that ring because it, uh, it causes me to become stunned if I get hit by it. I basically get flacked by a big old blast of gravity. So another thing I've been working on is talents. Um, not only is Drench a thing, but also my attacks also have a chance of basically becoming Chain Lightning. Anytime I deal a critical hit, it has a 50% chance of changing into Chain Lightning. 
Here's a basic adversary. Let's see if I can get a combo charged up before I try to take on a leader. Okay. Okay, so let's char uh, target the foreman. Hit him. Wow, we almost got him down. Now, what, the thing is, you want to take out the foreman first because he supports and heals all of the tunnel workers and also causes more of the tunnel workers to appear. So by taking him out quickly, and you can see my combo has stuck around, and that is because I have several storm combos loaded up. You get some with the starter deck. You get some by buying the figure. You can get some in boosters. Um, you can actually get a lot of boosters. A lot of the boosters I've gotten have been like half combo cards, so... By keeping this combo gauge maintained, if I can get it up to times 50 by the time I reach the final boss, I will be in pretty good shape. So I'm just going to go straight into another one because I can just, uh, oh, get out of the, get out of the line of fire there. There we go. Because I can just, uh, it means that I can, um, fling combos around like nobody's business. I'm already half there. Although your combo does, uh, your combo meter actually drops pretty quickly, so the maintenance is actually very important. And, uh, not to mention watching out for all those, uh, all of those, uh, all those dots there, the, the, the vials in particular, are very important to keep you healed mid-battle. So yeah, my focus right now is building up my combo before I have to fight a boss. And like I said, the bosses in this game are, uh, actually fairly, uh, fairly simple. They're a lot easier than the ones in Ashwood Rift. And I guess it helps, uh, oh yes, and that's a water attack, and it also helps boost my, uh, my combo gauge, which as you can see has now gotten, uh, Quite significant. I've already built up, uh, built up Flood, so this is going to be, as soon as I wipe out the Moon Masher here, I'm going to go on to the next club and I'm just going to whack them all at once with, uh, with this because, oh, uh, that's the boss. Oh dear, I should have saved it for the boss, and I just triggered the boss too, that's not good. What a cluster I found myself in. <laughs> oh, did Heavy Belly go down? That's not good. Oh, get out of that circle. Let's see. Oh, Heavy Belly must be back if he's able to stun everybody. Oh, it's following me, so somebody must have cast something on me. Oh, nope. That's a, that's a circle I need to get out of. Ooh, Tornado! Best possible combo I could have pulled for this situation. Pulls enemies in and deals them damage. As you can see, Tug, who is the boss we're dealing with right now, is taking huge amounts of damage from Tornado. Because they get because that, that also affects his minions, too. So if you have a lot of minions, an attack like Tornado will help keep them at bay. And as, I, I'm already most of the way to another combo, as you can see, even just in that short amount of time. So I will be able to hit him again very shortly, which is good, because his minions are starting to regenerate. So I gained a little bit for, uh, and there we go. Goodbye, Tug, hopefully. Boom, yep, there we go. So, one boss down. That was way simpler than a lot of them tend to be. Oh, and I can see uh, the minions he'd summoned also dissolve into the ground. Oh, treasure chest. Now, each dungeon takes about four treasure keys. Each treasure key costs currency, which is uh, like a local currency, not like the gold. Let's see, anything good in that? I got a fragment. Oh, that wasn't very good at all. I mean, 600 gold is okay, that's, uh, eh, it's, maybe that wasn't so good, but hopefully we'll get some more down the line. Dungeons also give you tokens. I have a pretty good, uh, dungeon token perk. In fact, uh, my current, uh, my most recent card offers, uh, dungeon token perks. Night Bumbler. So yeah, Lunar, even though you think that Night would be, like, the role of Dread, uh, it's, uh, lo it's, uh, Solar and Lunar. It's more about, like, astral bodies and, oh, these guys, these guys are annoying. The Paralysis Bugs? They do uh, these huge, like, shotgun attacks that uh, they can heal themselves with, so the bugs are a bit more of a pain. And they're largely optional. There is a, uh, there is a, yeah, that, that, that's, that right there. That big explosive attack. Right there, that's kind of the thing you want to worry about the most. Oh, wow. Wow. I'm in trouble. Yep, that's a lot of damage. I'm going to need to concentrate for a second here. Ooh, good timing. So I'll just uh, march into the middle of all these bugs and drop my combo. Let's see if I can provoke them to come after me. 
hitting them for even more. Man, why does the sound keep cutting out? That's kind of weird. Hopefully you guys can still hear this. Okay, there we go. Ouch. Yeah, see that, that, that big old shotgun attack that stuns me and hits me for a lot of damage. Okay, so I already have another combo charged up, and I'm at times... Oh, times 46, and there it goes. So against Sargata, I can lead with a combo attack, which didn't do much at all. Oh, dear. I believe he also uses the, uh, the shotgun attack, so... Like that. Oh no, he drops big, uh, big burst attacks. Yeah, that's tr that's right. Not too difficult. Doesn't summon any minions, to my knowledge. Stun. Almost at uh, almost at fifty. So this boss is actually optional because I think all it does is. Uh, oh nope, I guess it does summon uh, summon enemies. And we have tornado again. Prepare yourself. This is easily one of the best combos I have I have gotten. Because it does damage to enemies and it draws them in, which is uh which is actually really important for uh for how you deal extra damage to these bosses. And as you can see I'm already most of the way to another combo and that one yeah, there we go. Let's hit him again. Three combos. So, this is, uh, yeah, this is how you, uh, this is how you get ahead in this game, is you, uh, is you, uh, charge up the combo gauge. Now, let's apply the stun. And the finish. So, yes, being able to, uh, being, oh, I got an Astral Rift. Uh, I got a token. So good. So being able to uh, chain combos into enemies is really important. So let's see. This blocks off an area. I wonder if that this means that uh, this means that you need a figure to get through there. I wonder if I have the right thing. No, it requires a slashing weapon. And Cory just said, I don't think I can do that. She needs a slashing weapon in order to do that. Hopefully, I will be able to uh, get some slashing weapons, and I will be able to show you how to do that. Continuing onwards. Oh, my combo is dropping tremendously. So, back into it right away. Yeah, the bumblers are a pretty big pain, so let's deal with that first. You can see why I have to focus so hard on keeping my combo maintained, because it's just uh, really difficult. I mean, it's really nice when water comes up, because those are the card those are the abilities I have with the... Uh, the shortest cooldown, and I already have another combo charged up, and I'm going to go ahead and use it, because uh, it'll allow me to maintain my combo. So, wind, wind again. Wow, and I already have another combo mostly charged. You like combos? I got combos, combos for days, so, okay, so it seems like some combos take longer to recharge than others, but in the case of ones like, uh, in the case of ones like Tornado, it's really worth it just because of all that extra damage, because it just does so much, it draws the enemy in, it does extra damage, and that wipes out the Slime Tamer, so let's keep going, 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 treasure chest, anything good? Oh, looks like I got, uh, durable leggings. Oh, so something completely useless. Ah, we're almost at the end, so I just need to, uh, take out these characters here before I move on to Moon Moon the boss. Ooh, a combo that I really want to save for those little guys right there. That is, uh, Flood. Fully heals me and does a ton of damage to enemies. Takes a pretty big charge time, but it is really, really worth it. There goes that, so let's just take a swing at that. Let's get them so that they're all chasing me. Oh, was I facing the wrong direction? Ah, I was. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. It won't take me long to charge up another one. As you can see, I'm already halfway there. 
And you basically, basically, if there's a lull in the battle, you're able, to, you're able to use each combo once per battle. So if there's a lull in the battle, then you can uh, switch combos. So this battle against uh, against Moon Moon is probably going to take a while. He uh, he summons a lot of uh, a lot of folks that help heal him, but hopefully I will be able to. Uh, And there they go. One more treasure chest. Oh. Astral Rift. Oh, and another durable leggings. For Pete's sake. They just want to give me lots and lots of pants. I guess this must be revenge for that comment I made at the at the actual thing. So let's... Uh, we're not done cleaning up the dungeon yet, dear. Apparently this is a bug where she uh, declares victory long before it actually happens. So... I have a combo ready, but I'm gonna wait for him to summon, summon some, uh, summon some help, or at least summon the kind of help I want to get rid of quickly. Well, I got rid of that help quickly enough, so stun. Yeah, but even that little weight dropped it down to 43. That's still enough. I mean, I'll be able to rebuild my combo in no time. But this guy, as you can see, has a lot of health, and he will eventually start summoning characters who can heal him. So that's why I'm saving the tornado for now. He hasn't summoned anything that can heal him yet. But my combo is not dropping. It does not really drop while you're in battle. So if you can maintain battle, like if, if you have it so that you're like running at an enemy from like for like 10 miles away, that's actually not really a problem at all. Do, 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 do these guys count as uh, count as uh, Count as these guys for the purpose of damage? That would be uh, kind of interesting. Let's see. But yeah, this fight is going to be a bit of a slog. I don't think he, I don't think Moon Moon really... There's, there's a helper that I want to get rid of. That's the kind of thing I'm talking about when I say there's a helper I want to get rid of, is the, the foreman. Oh, come on, combo. Behave. There he goes, but... Uh, I guess Moon Moon must stay in place because he's being largely unaffected by uh, the draw, but you can see just how much damage that did. And this one has a bad habit of applying stun, so you want to get rid of him. Man, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just pile driving these guys. A bit of wind, a bit of thunder! So that means all that's left are Electrified Deluge and Flood. So those should work fairly well. All oh, the foremen, yeah, you want to get rid of them. They start healing Moon Moon. And you don't want Moon Moon to heal lest you uh, slog through all that fight again. There he goes. And my, uh, oh, oh, man, he likes, yeah, he starts summoning a lot of minions at this stage in the battle. Oh man, my MP is low. I guess I better uh, stretch that. Uh, stretch that as long as I possibly can. So this is starting to get a little hectic. I know it can be a little hard to see uh, Heavy Belly, but he's still there. Yeah, see, he just healed him for like 14,000. So if I don't, if I leave the foreman alone, he's just gonna keep doing that. Okay, so we have, uh, let's see, let's move over here a little bit, and let's make sure we're facing the right way this time, when we unleash Flood! There we go. So I am down to my last combo. Oh, get out of range of that. Fortunate thing about uh, Forked Lightning is it means that even if he does summon a buddy, if it's close enough to him, I can still hit him. Uh, there's another card in the uh, in the Mountain Tribe that actually gives me a bonus to critical whenever I heal, and I assume every one of those little heals I do with the bubbles counts as a heal. Oh. Take this, Moon Moon! Oh, so close! Well, now I'm out of combos, so I'm gonna have to uh, lean on my regular attacks. I'm gonna have to kind of go all out on him, go for broke. So, uh, the Tornado is a starter pack exclusive card, so there we go. 
So that levels up the Aqua Dart Crab, and I believe that gets stored in uh, in the memory of my game here. So in the earlier game, there's actually a quest here where there's somebody sitting on the chair that you have to rescue. I'm not going to spoil who, but I've already done that, so I'm done with the quests in this dungeon already. Are you ready to leave, Korra? Yeah, let's go. So I got three tokens. They are uh, astral tokens, as you can see. They're just uh, the regular tokens. Bosses, uh, bosses can uh, drop tokens, too, because I've done the... Uh, Ashwood Crater a few additional times. Oh, and it doesn't actually let me see it here, but there are some, uh, there's a chance that, uh, bosses will drop, uh, the, uh, items as well. So let's run these and see what we got because we are up a tier. There should be some interesting things. Okay, we have gold. Oh, that wasn't terribly, uh, interesting. So this thing rolls backwards. So I guess I'll grab the spore bloom because that gets me closer to the, uh, the feathered helm, which is something I'm trying to get, which is like 80,000 spore bloom. Let's see if we can get some good... Oh! There we go. Level 4 armor. Itadaiteyaro. I will take it. So, that's the first time I've pulled level 4 armor. I've gotten a couple... I've gotten a level 4 accessory, but that's the first time I've gotten level 4 armor. Level... Uh, the level of your armor affects how... Uh, what kinds of equipment it can uh, stash. So, we have money. I'm going to save my coins. I'm just going to take the money. But that level 4 armor, that's going to be very, very nice. Um, it actually affects the level of... Um, the level of, uh, of spirit stone that it can equip. But you can see what I mean when I say that the rarity of items tears up because uh, you can now start getting level 4 items. And you can see I basically cruised through that dungeon thanks to the effective use of both uh, the card, the uh, Kree Ball Infiltrator card, which increased all my damage by 12%, and the fact that I could easily string combos together. Okay, so... Uh, there it is. That's the end of that. Let's uh, let's see what this armor is all about. So, in order to get a good comparison, I want to remove the light stone. And, uh, man, that's a lot of pants. Oh, durable leggings of restoration, huh? I'll have to take a look at that. Let's see. Moonstrike body. So, what does that do? Armor, attack, and astral attack. So, it will uh, it'll actually increase my attack. That's a new one. And it increases my armor as well by 4%. So, we are going to equip that. And then we are going to... Take uh, the Moonstrike body, add a Light Stone. We're going to add the Durable Light Stone, Spirit Stone of the Adventurer. Now, uh, I think I got this one from a dungeon as well, although uh, the Umbron Thief, which you can get in several starter decks, will also drop Spirit Stones. So, a uh, very, very good item. So, now we have 2266 armor, 101 attack, 160 vitality, 88 astral attack, and 156 focus. So, very, very good. What are my stats now? I'm trying to figure out what their defense modifier is. It just went up by like 8,000 points by changing that armor. I don't know if it's like a multiplier or something like that, but that is a lot better than it was before. So here's my other level 4 item right here. The uh, Shell of Calamari. This was, uh, there's a squid that you can fight once a week in the, um, in the starting area, which is over by uh, Joybrook Falls. If you can defeat it, then it, there's a chance that it'll drop some good items, and this is the first time that it ever dropped a level four for me. So apparently these pants are good as well. So what do I have? I have I have the Ashwood Leg Guards. If I remove the Light Stone, it's Vitality and Focus, and versus these that I picked up, even more Vitality and Focus, it is... A vi oh, it's Vitality and Health Regeneration. Okay, so judging by the fact that it increases several things by a bunch, I'm going to... Switch to those. So, um, that's basically it. I hope you guys had fun. This is, uh, that is, um, that is the, uh, the Astral Rift. And until next time, this is Kodak signing off.